Hello everyone. Uh, today video is about uh, beam supply. So now I will open the connection design. So uh, first you need to select the type you want and uh, this is the the type uh, that I'm going to design it's the uh, the beam connect to beam but uh, it's not perpendicular like this I want to design the uh, beam spike like this one so I'm going to choose this one and there's two type of connection you can choose the shear connection or moment connection so mostly uh, there's there's always uh, a small moment or some moment in the beam so uh, mostly the beam supply the beam supply is uh, always the moment connection so uh, the, there are uh, many types you can choose the wheel uh, type like this one or you can choose something like this uh, similar to the end plate uh, if there's uh, the moment is big you can choose this one also and this one is uh, I can say that uh, it's better it for most uh, situation because it can uh, resi uh, resist uh, moment and shear even the moment is big it's uh, it can also use uh, we can also use this type of connection so I'm going to uh, choose this type and the parameter I will keep uh, the default here and the design code is AIC this type of connection may cause uh, a little more because uh, it uses a lot of uh, steel plate but uh, in most situation it's, uh, it's, it's good so first I need to change the section so we add a uh, cross section uh, like previous video I'm going to, I'm going to use the Japanese standard and the size of the beam is uh, uh, 500 the, uh, it is the I section so now I'm going to adjust uh, the connection or uh, we can put the load first so these two beam you can select one of them as a, a bearing member if you want this beam to be a bearing member you can just uh, click on the set bearing member here and you will uh, you, you cannot put the load here and uh, the load will uh, put at this point as you can see this is for uh, member B2 only so if the B2 is the bearing member now the load will uh, locate on the uh, set the section B1 okay now I will put the load here let's say uh, this. I think it, this one is sorry cost two now I will change the plate side and the location of the ball so first I will change the the top plate here I don't want the bracket here I mean sorry I mean uh, the backing plate uh, here because uh, it can cost um, a lot of money 
so I'm going to reduce the cost as much as possible and I will uh, change the plate um, first I think I should uh, yeah, add the gap here a little bit I don't want this beam and this beam to uh, uh, so close to each other I want the gap uh, 5 millimeter for one beam so the gap here should be 10 millimeter now the thickness I will keep the value 10 here and we change this a little bit let's say uh, 3 row so I'm going to add uh, I, think, I think this one should be bigger I think it's okay now so next I'm going to adjust uh, the position here first I'm going to try 0 Okay, I, I want something like this and this one should be okay it's 2 bit Ding. okay this one look okay now I'm going to delete this because I want to use uh, the bottom, but the bottom plate uh, the same as the uh, uh, the top plate here. So I'm going to copy and change this to uh, bottom flank. So now it's uh, uh, changing to the, uh, at the bottom flank of the beam here. Next, I'm going to uh, change the middle plate here. So this one, I will keep uh, two plate like this, but I will change the size because this is too big. First, I'm going to offset more, and I want the bolt. Uh, to have only one column here so I think okay now I think this is okay but I don't like the the uh, spacing of the bowl here I'm going to add a little bit more okay now our connection uh, modeling is done so now you can uh, run the analysis as I always said, uh, you have to check this to see if it, uh, it is uh, fit for your project or your uh, structural analysis design. If you use ASD, you should uh, you must uh, select ASD here. But uh, in my case here is LRFD, so I'm going to uh, run the analysis. So now the analysis is done and this is uh, the summary of the design. As you can see the analysis is 100% uh, okay and the plate uh, 
are used only one point uh, zero point one percent so it's not uh, economic the bowls is also not economic but uh, we can use this type of connection because it's now okay next one you can run the backlink analysis by clicking on the small arrow here and click on this button so this is the backlink factor and if you want to show more you can go to backlink factor here so uh, as you can see there are six modes and the critical one is the shape one and backlink factor is uh, uh, 20 point eight and this is the detail of balls design and plates design and you can also show the equivalent stress so the stress at the middle here is uh, uh, is big it's showing red color as in scale uh, at the right side here Now you can also show the, the deform uh, shape and this is the mesh. So this is how uh, the beam is deformed. Now uh, as you can see here it's not economic. I will change the design here to another type. But first I'm going to create a, a template here. Let's um, let's create a new folder. So as you can open the manager here and go to uh, the uh, folder that you create and this is b1 I just create and you can always apply to uh, the, uh, the another beam slide that uh, you go into uh, uh, design uh, if you want the same type like this now uh, I will uh, turn off the plate here and next I'm going to click on the operation here I want to use this uh, connection but I want to show you uh, a little bit more about how to put the connection to the beam here also you can right click on each one of the beam and go to connect to and select another beam and this is uh, the connection that uh, and the uh, idea static car is recommended so this one I, that I, I want to use I can select here and choose both sides but I will keep I keep the default and next I'm going to uh, adjust the plate here to uh, uh, be a little bit bigger so, um, we add this 10 and the wheel size is 6 now I will change the uh, the bowl here okay we keep this uh, this number but I will add one more row As you can see, the production cost is uh, uh, is less than uh, before because we use only two uh, type of plate, and we change this thickness also. I think uh, we choose ten. We uh, use ten millimeter first. If it's it's not passed, I will uh, add a little bit more. But now I'm going to run the analysis first. So the design is well. Fair. 
So the problem is plate exit the capacity strain. So I'm going to add the thickness a little bit more. Let's say uh, 14. And I'm going to run again. So now the connection is done. So as you can see, uh, the bowl is uh, economic. It's not. It's not a. Uh, a waste and the wheel is also fine the plate is uh, okay so you can use this one and you can com always compare the production cost here it uh, easy for you to choose which type of connection that uh, uh, you uh, should use in your project okay now I will hide this again and I will uh, add another connection so I will choose this one this is a uh, wheel only there's no uh, bolts I think uh, we wish there's something error here I think I'm going to uh, remove this off offset first Okay, now I'm, I will delete this. I will try to add again. Okay, there's a, the same error. Okay, um, I will add, uh, I, I will manually uh, add the wheel add, uh, on this beam and uh, that's connect to this plate. But uh, I will adjust this first. So now, um, I think I will remove this first and next I will add the operation and go to wheel okay now I will choose the plate here and this should be B1 top flank and I think uh, Right. Okay, I will choose this only. Next, I will add another wheel. I will copy this and change the edge in depth here. As you can see, this is one, two, three, four. So I will change this two and add another one, two, three. So this is done now. So uh, next, I'll go to the the plate here, I will change this to 10 millimeter only, and I will keep this default. Now, now for the middle plate here, the, the 
the plate that connect to the web or the beam we uh, change this also I think I will remove this one I don't want too much uh, plate so I will keep only this one Now, okay. So next, I'm going to adjust this to eight only, and uh, I will add the wheel. First, I will I choose the plate here, and this is B one web one and the uh, H index is one so it's connect here but uh, it's we choose one side only and this is six we copy this and change this to two and three Okay, now I will delete this and I will select the top plate here and copy it and change this to P2 bottom flag. And next, I'm going to uh, add the wheel here, but first, I'm going to delete this. Sorry. I will delete this first so I will copy wheel 1, wheel 3 and wheel, uh, wheel 2 and wheel 3 because uh, this is wheel 1, 2 and 3 and I will change this to I will change the member of plate here to this plate so this is the wheel here but it's not correct uh, I need to change to b1 bottom flank now we copy this and change to 2 and 3 okay now the connection is done and you can see the production cost here So I will run the analysis. And as you can see, this is so so good for uh, this uh, this case. But uh, keep in mind that uh, you need to wheel this beam, so it's not easy to uh, to do the uh, the wheel at side. It, it's not easy sometimes you uh, need to use bolt in order uh, to uh, make the the structure easy to install but uh, this type in this case is uh, good because it costs less than the previous two and the design is also a uh, pass Now you can uh, change the plate here to be uh, to make it uh, smaller, so the production cost will cost even less than this uh, this price. Now I will turn up, turn this off, and turn this on again. So this is 100. The previous one is uh, 80 only and our first one is 173 so the wheel one is uh, the is the best for this case but 
as I said, uh, sometimes you need this type of connection because uh, it's easy to install. It's better uh, for uh, uh, at, at the construction site. But uh, it's always depend on your project, on on the uh, designer. So uh, it's you guys that decide which one uh, that uh, you should use for your project. So this is how you design the beam splice, beam splice. Sorry, uh, and there's many more type. But uh, this is the popular one, I think. And uh, I hope you guys get the idea. And uh, thank you for watching. I see you guys in my next uh, video. Thank you.